I've been asked to make a stud with a 22mm by 2mm thread on, which is a very strange thread, but that's what he wants. It needs to be 400mm long. Now, I've got a bit of steel here. It's actually an old drive shaft of a tractor. It had a bit of a disaster and it snapped. Now, that's going to be good quality material. Uh, it didn't snap because it was poor material. It snapped because the gearbox bell housing come loose. Anyway, that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to part the end of this off. It's already dead on 22, so just a polish and then cut the thread. I haven't got a nut to try on it, uh, but I have got a proper foam tool which will cut the 22mm thread. The same's probably been heat treated where the splines are, so we'll go down a little bit from it. I've got plenty of material. They are hard. They're soft down here, so we can use that bit. Oh, soft fish anyway. It's important that we have the parking tool nice and square to the job and on centre height which it will be because it's never taken out of that hole that I'll park up down here where it should be reasonably soft you go ups that is decent quality material that without a doubt A friend of mine used to build model aircraft engines and he used to use old wagon half shafts to make the trunk shafts out of the solid. The brush is looking a bit sorry for itself. Just about there. thread on it so more than enough what I'll do I'll give it a bit of a clean up and then put it back into the chuck material lad dead on 22 mil the core size of the thread is 20 so I take a mil off just put a little shoulder on when I get down to that shoulder that's going to be the thread to full depth I'm 
going to do the same for the little run out area. Get a rose broken then, so I'll get it. See Now two in one mill. Make sure that's the full depth of the thread. See what this end. There's a little, little shampoo on there. Actually, had this tool out of this tool roll or something else. So it was putting back on centre height. This is just one way of doing it. Once that ruler or the rule straight, that means that the tool is on centre height. Just about there. Pretty good. Ready to class that has been on centre height. They don't need to make sure it's nice and square to the job. So we'll simply bring it along here and line the tip up on that chuck. Yeah, I'm just going to touch the tool off. I think what I'll do, I'll angle the compound slide because it's going to be quite a deep cut, quite a broad cut just to go plunging straight in. So I'll set the angle up on the compound slide, which means we'll be cutting on the, the front edge of that. Thread 60 degrees, so we'll set sort of 29. That should be there, 10, 20, 9. So what we're we'll doing now is we'll just put the, the feed on with a pump on slide. So we'll have to set up this again. It's no great problem. Easy in that actually. Right, so we'll touch it off once again. Hopefully you can see it's only cutting on one side of the thread, which is the leading side. I'm not cutting any of the neck because I've got to advance it, not to worry. Now 
I just wish about that front edge there at 20 mil. So I'm going to do one more spring cut. That's not a bad thread. I'm going to leave this in the lathe and the lad's going to drop us a nut off tomorrow night just to make sure the thread's right I'm going to finish the job off. Unfortunately, the bit of plate we supplied is being painted. It doesn't affect the plasma cut in any way, but it won't weld. I'll have to get it down to the clean metal to be able to weld it. Aluminium to take well, it's no good using a emery wheel or an emery brush or a floppy disk because it impregnates the grain material into the aluminium and it doesn't weld very nice. You've got to persevere, unfortunately, with a wire brush. actually welded up not so bad if it had been new material it would have been a lot better but it is what it is I know one thing I'm certain it certainly won't fall apart once again it's your time to see you thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and as always a massive thanks for all the kind words that keep coming in anyway thanks for watching